Hey guys, it's Robbie here, and this is Frecky Fit Wolf. So it's Sunday, so that means it's time for another week's weigh in. So hopefully, everybody had a wonderful week. I am exhausted this week at work, especially, really, really kicked my backside. So I'm gonna keep this video short and sweet. It's my weigh-in video, and I'm also covering measurements today. Before I get into that, I do want to show off two things. I put them on my Instagram, but I think I never actually put them in a video. So I completed two more Yes Fit races. So one was the unicorn race. So that's that guy. Isn't it like really cute? I love how they're sparkly. And then the other one was the Athena race. So. I got two more medals for my wall, so I'm gonna have to actually start organizing them by type. So I have three that are like gods and then a unicorn. So we'll see how all that goes. But yeah, so I'm really happy that I finished those races. That was really, really cool that like it's helping keep me motivated, keep me moving and all of that jazz. Um, it is kind of hard right now because my Fitbit broke. So tracking steps is a little bit different. My phone can track some, but I don't keep my phone on me all the time. A lot of times at work, like yesterday, I had my phone plugged in the back because it was playing music for the salon. So that's a little bit difficult for now, but I did talk, I did call them or chatted with them and they are replacing the Fitbit um, immediately. Like they're actually, they're a really amazing company. Like it was one phone call she had me try a few things and she's like, yeah, no, it's broke. So we're going to mail you a new one. Um, I don't know if I said it last time, but the screen went all staticky. So like, it looks like an old television that can't get a signal. That's the white snow static. That's what's going on on my Fitbit, which is funny because it still gets a signal. Um, so like if I get a text, it'll still vibrate. Like it's trying to show me something and it can't show me anything. So that's that, but I'm getting a new one. They did mail it and it will be here soon. Not exactly sure, you know, mail right now is slower than it has been for quite a while. But that will help me get back on track as far as tracking steps, but I'm still staying active, I'm still being busy, I'm still working out, I'm still, especially at work, getting a ton of steps in. Like I said, it has worn me out. Um, I'm adjusting, it's two weeks now, but it's still, it's still an adjustment period, my body. Whew. I can't take it, especially because before at work, we never clock out for lunch breaks or anything like that. But typically there's still more moments between customers that we can pause. Um, right now, because of all the extra sanitation stuff, we're actually scrubbing everything in between customers more than we used to. And so that takes a lot more time. And plus just even the little things like when I take a cape off of a customer, it has to go directly into the washer in the back room. I don't just set it on the chair and get back to it. It's gotta go. So all of that stuff adds up. But anyway, like I said, I wanna keep this short and sweet. So on my way in, I am officially 311 pounds right now. So that means I lost two pounds this week. That's pretty awesome. I told you guys, like once I got back to work, it would start going a little bit quicker. Um, Part of that is also because I did slack off on some of the, the strength training this week. I did it once. Yeah, once. Um, I really need to organize my life a little bit better. I'm working on it. Uh, I, I got a new plan that hopefully will be better than what I was trying to do this week. But anyway, for a grand total of 65.8 pounds off. 65.8, that's, that's awesome. Like, I'm so proud of that. And it's still funny though, in the back of my mind, I wanna be like, I still have so much more to go, but I'm still proud of 65.8 pounds gone. That's, that's great. All right, so let's get into the measurements because these are where I actually feel a lot better than the poundage because the scale only tell, like I've said this numerous times, but the scale only tells you what your body weighs. It doesn't know what it's weighing. It just knows how much it weighs in total. It doesn't know how much of that is muscle, how much of that is fat, how much of that is your bones, any of that stuff. It's just what your body currently weighs. But my measurements, especially as I am trying to work out more and change my actual body shape, that is fantastic. So I'm gonna scoot over a little bit because I'm gonna put them over here. But so my waist, uh, 
My waist is now 47.5 inches, meaning I lost one inch in my waist. And this is since May 10th, so three weeks ago. So waist 47.5 minus one inch since three weeks ago. My hips is now 46 inches, so I lost one inch there. My chest is uh, 47, so that means I lost half an inch there. My stomach is 51, so I gained an inch there. Um, yeah. Uh, my arms are exactly the same at 16 inches. My thighs are 30.5, so they're exactly the same. My calves actually are 18 inches now, so they went down a whole inch. And my neck is now 16 inches. That's why this is loose, uh, because it, I lost half an inch there. I did not think I'd be losing inches there or my calves. So that was a pretty cool surprise. But so for a total, in the last three weeks, I have lost three inches throughout my body. That really, really puts things in perspective for me as far as why, you know, clothes fit a certain way and things like that. And really, really helps me keep focus on the grand picture. So this, this week was a great week. I'm talking a little more subdued because my roommate is asleep. I just heard his alarm, so he might be waking up. But two pounds off, 65.8 pounds total, three more inches gone. I mean, this week's a win. All right, so that's all I got today. Not a big long video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later.